Assalamu alaikum everyone. So today we had Imam Baitullah and it was an awesome conversation. So we talked about family, things about Islam, what to do for Ramadan and what to do to prepare for a great Ramadan. And I hope you guys have a wonderful listen. Here it is. Assalamu alaikum. So what are you passionate about? Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah my dear brother Ali. Yes. Allah. After Ramadan, long time. I we, know, right? We don't see each other uh, uh, really. So... My passionate, I, languages. Mm -hmm. I love languages. So, what languages do you speak? I, I speak. My mother language is uh, Kurdish. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Kurdish yeah. is uh, one of the Indo-European uh, language group. Um, uh, it's southeast of Turkey, mm -hmm. Syria, Iraq, Iran. Uh, generally, they are concentrated in these countries. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as a race and language is different than Turkish, yeah. sometimes the people say, oh, it's, it's some dialect of Turkish. No, it's totally different race, but the religion is the uh, same, mm -hmm. culture, a lot, a lot of things. Uh, thousand years we live together, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, after Kurdish, I learned Turkish, mm -hmm. then Arabic for my, for my professional uh, career, so... I mean, ma'am. <laughs> so then I traveled to Argentina. I learned Spanish. So here in America, uh, I came 2010. So mm -hmm. still dealing with English. Mashallah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like you know, it's different. Yeah, Texas. Texas. I, I lived in Texas for eight, <laughs> nine years. Okay. So, uh, you have so a... I'm right now Pennsylvanian. So <laughs> <laughs> it's different. Yeah. How do they say in yeah. Texas? So out of all those languages, which one was the hardest to learn? Hardest to learn, I think, is uh, Arabic, I can say. Mm -hmm. So maybe uh, the reason of that in Turkey, they teach a lot grammatic. So mm -hmm. they, uh, they're not practicing. So when you go somewhere and you naturally, like kids, you learn the languages. Mm -hmm. But when you start to, uh, to do like professional and, and teach first grammatic, it's the uh, most difficult uh, method, I think, yeah. I can say. Uh, so we have to hear and talk, mm -hmm. learn and talk. But it was, as a method, uh, not really very good. So mm -hmm. uh, I can say uh, Arabic. And okay. So when you were originally living in Turkey, is that where you were born or you were born in? Yeah, I was born in Adiyaman. Southeast of Turkey, the Kurdish part of Turkey, mm -hmm. Adiyaman, it's very old uh, province of uh, Turkey. Mm -hmm. So there is a mountain, the name is Nimrod, mm -hmm. you know, the biblical yeah. Nimrod, Namrud in, mm -hmm. in Arabic, like Firaun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is a mountain and top of that mountain, there is a huge statues, mm -hmm. the eagle had and a human, uh, a king had. And they're huge, and they don't know how they bring that rocks in top of that mountain mm -hmm. because there is no rocks uh, in that mountain. Mm -hmm. So um, it's like mysterious. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's no elevator to bring them up. Right? Yes, <laughs> that time you know, <laughs> thousands years uh, years ago. So it's uh, related to uh, Ibrahim alayhi mm salam. -hmm. Uh, so it's in that province I was born. When I was uh, seven, eight years, we moved to other city, which is mixed Kurdish and Turkish. Mm -hmm. Antep, we call. Mm -hmm. It's uh, very similar to uh, Aleppo, Aleppo, mm -hmm. uh, Halab yeah. in in Syria. So both they have a very nice uh, castle. Uh, so we moved there. Uh, so my Turkish improved more <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> over there. So I study um, my elementary and middle school in Antep. Then I moved to other city, which is maybe half of it Arab, mm -hmm. uh, Antioch, Antakya, or Hatay. Yeah. So, but the antique name is uh, Antioch. Uh, so, and I study there uh, high school. So I, I practice a lot Arabic over yeah. there. It's helped me a lot. Uh, oh, so then I uh, moved to Izmir. And uh, we can say it generally, it's Turkish. Mm -hmm. You have, but it's very mixed uh, 
from Ottoman times a lot, uh, Greeks, uh, Jewish, uh, maybe little Armenian, not too much, mm-hmm. but uh, even his famous, they was calling Gavur Izmir, like uh, unbelief <laughs> yeah. and, uh, city. Mm-hmm. It was a lot minorities in in Izmir. Mm-hmm. So um, I do my uh, bachelor degree in in Izmir. So when I finish, I go to Argentina. I went to Argentina. Yeah. Why did you go uh, to Argentina? We can say like the spirit of Dawa, maybe mm-hmm. the, uh, spirit of to take um, one of the the most peaceful religion in the world. I think is Islam mm-hmm. by its history. Uh, by co- coexistence in all its uh, uh, geographies from Cairo to Marrakesh, from Istanbul to Baghdad, you can see still um, that coexistence of different religions. But today, the people they have, they don't have any idea in in Latin America really. Mm-hmm. And if there is any idea, it's bad idea about Islam. So. It was uh, really uh, to represent Islam and through the education, I uh, was founder of the, one of the founder of the Hizmet movement over there, mm-hmm. one of the Islamic movement globally known uh, through the, uh, this word Hizmet, mm-hmm. which in, in Arabic is Khidma. Khidma, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, uh, you know, Khadimul Haramin Sharifin, so service. Mm, or favor. Uh, right, service, favor. Uh, yeah, so it's directly service, really. Khadama, yakhdimu, wa khadim, servant, mm-hmm. serve. So, and what you serve, you serve to God through the serving to humanity, through the serving the Quran, through the serving the Sunnah. So, it's the. Uh, so, I am founder of the, that movement with other uh, friends. We. Uh, create a, a cultural center, a dialogue center, and uh, a little school as well, uh, mm-hmm. from kindergarten to middle school uh, in Buenos Aires. Hey, the capital, right? So, yeah, the, the capital uh, of Buenos Aires. So it was young age. I was 24, 5, I think, when I moved uh, to Argentina. Mm-hmm. And do you still go back to that school here or yeah. there? Uh, yeah, I still uh, go back. Why? Because I get married from there. <laughs> 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 yeah, in Turkey, they uh, when they ask you where are you from, sometimes some people they do joke. They says I'm not married yet. <laughs> 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 so uh, in other sense, I can say I'm from Argentina. So I'm from Buenos Aires. So I, I we sometimes uh, go back. Uh, uh, to to Buenos Aires because my uh, in laws they were living in Argentina and and sometimes uh, related to interreligious work as well uh, and and go to visit brothers still they have that nice work in mm-hmm. in Argentina Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah no it's awesome and in coming now to Pennsylvania and being in America. I know I met you at the respect, like, respect, and I would love for you to kind of explain as to why you guys kind of founded it, why you're there, and kind of what inspired you to come to Pennsylvania here. Yeah, I was knowing uh, Dr. Suleiman Erich, which is the f- founder and president uh, of Respect Islamic Graduate School. Mm-hmm. So I know him because I study a little bit, a little bit, not too much, but a couple of classes with him, tafsir, when I was in Turkey. Mm-hmm. He's one of the students of Sheikh Fatullah Gulen. He mm-hmm. studied with him, uh, which is very close to here, about, yeah. I think, about uh, 15 minutes. Yeah. He's living um, in that Islamic retreat center. Uh, so he, I was an imam in San Antonio, Texas. So uh, Dr. Suleiman said to me, would you like to join my team, uh, work here? I have um, a masjid in, in the school, so we need somebody with your features. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and since I'm, uh, I love really Sheikh Fatullah Gulen, his, his knowledge, his 
all his trajectory. It's a big alim in all Islamic sciences. Mm-hmm. And I said, he's close to here. Uh, and and this project is uh, related to my passion, which is really to make known Islam uh, the, the better way. So, and this is directly uh, related to Islamic studies. I said, no better than this project. So it was mm-hmm. in the... Uh, economically in crisis time really in 2019 when I come and alhamdulillah to, from that time to to know uh, today we add a lot of people new people alhamdulillah Dr. Colleen Keys uh, Sheikh Yusuf Rios uh, Chaplain Sakina alhamdulillah Dr. Ergun Chapan uh, mm-hmm. Sheikh uh, Jamal Turk uh, Dr. Adnan Aslan uh, so a lot of value alhamdulillah we add here in Lehigh Valley. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's uh, growing. It's growing. Dr. Halim Chalish from Chicago University. Uh, so he's a big scholar as well. Uh, inshallah, we start last uh, September with our own master degree program. Mm-hmm. Uh, alhamdulillah. We were doing with other uh, university uh, joint program. But alhamdulillah, we had our uh, degree authority uh, permission from state of Pennsylvania mm-hmm. and tomorrow we have our accredita- accreditation uh, meeting really with the yeah, higher yeah. education middle state higher education committee mm-hmm. so inshallah make dua inshallah. we have a <laughs> inshallah uh, good meeting so with respect mashallah uh, it's doing a great job uh, it's growing but uh, we need to engage our community, not mm-hmm. just Muslims, non-Muslims as well, uh, to this program, especially to master's uh, program. And we have very uh, diverse uh, corpus of the students, really. Uh, just to uh, announce to people, we have uh, Chinese uh, mm-hmm. Muslim, we have uh, Am- African-American uh, uh, Muslims. We have non-Muslim Christian, for example, none. We have a, a student. Sh- sh- she have her doctorate. She's teaching really in the Catholic University, mm-hmm. but uh, she is a student uh, in our uh, master degree program. So it's uh, for Muslims uh, spiritually grow and really to um, again uh, to engage to Iqra. You mm-hmm. know, our first commandment is not salli, it's not uh, fast, it's not uh, uh, pray, mm-hmm. it's iqra. First we have to read, learn, then we can do proper salat, we can do proper uh, fasting. So um, uh, in that sense we, we need your support, Ali, inshallah, to, inshallah. to, to engage youth to this program because... We need uh, really from the like Prophet Sallallahu says, from the so, cradle, no, to tomb, engage to knowledge. This mm-hmm. is the uh, path of paradise, the path of learning, the path of knowledge, the path of hikmah, uh, wisdom. We have to be always in that. I think the our our problem, the Muslim Ummah problem, is that ignorance, mm-hmm. like. Previously, Islam. The, what was the, the the problem of the uh, that era? It was ignorance. Mm-hmm. So, uh, inshallah, when we really equipped with the knowledge in all sense uh, of the knowledge, uh, science, spiritual, uh, so religious uh, and physical, material, every t- everything, uh, it's part of the knowledge. Mm-hmm. Nothing is out of the knowledge of Allah. Yeah. When we divide, really, the problem start. When we start, just religious uh, science. No, we have to learn all because everything is part of the uh, God knowledge. Yeah. So. No. Alhamdulillah, mashallah, again with the, what you guys are doing, I respect. And it's interesting because when we seek knowledge, we seek that experience of wanting to learn more, do more. One by one, things start happening because you're not allowing yourself to be ignorant, right? Being ignorant is just not knowing. Mm -hmm. And to not know means, okay, then how do I know, Mm -hmm. right? You read, you ask, you have conversations with people that might know more than you. You don't know where you'll learn the information from. So it's cool that you guys, that's like your main message. And 
if there's something from respect that you are really proud to talk about, what do you think it is? Like something that you're happy you're building so far? Yeah, since we are not very big institution, it's a new baby institution, the people see the sincerity, the close relationship, and, and they feel like they are in the family. Mm-hmm. Even uh, the, uh, its academic environment, its professional uh, s- syllabus, everything, but they feel that closeness, that r- relationship, alhamdulillah. Uh, and and it's, a, it's a cute masjid, you know, alhamdulillah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, the building is uh, and nice, uh, and, and when the people enter, they see that cleanness, alhamdulillah, part of our iman, no? Mm-hmm. To see... Cleanliness. Uh, yeah. Taharatu shatrul iman, yani and nadafa. So... The, the people feel that uh, brotherhood, that uh, closeness and accessibility to, to our instructors, they are always there. It's not just I give the uh, class and finish. No, they are really, they want to teach and they want to uh, prepare future scholars, mm-hmm. not just giving a title. Uh, I see uh, Dr. Adnan, he put a lot of effort out of the uh, classes as well, Dr. Halim, same, and Dr. Suleiman, his life is really respect. So, yeah, mashallah. Uh, so, I can say that the relationship is very uh, authentic, and mashallah, it's beyond the professional and academic uh, uh, environment. Alhamdulillah. 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 So, what is something, because again, we're talking about knowledge, so what is something? that Muslims and should prepare for Ramadan? What are some tips or tricks that you see to kind of go into Ramadan, inshallah, with good energy and focus? What would you kind of recommend yeah. to... He, you know, Ramadan, mashallah, it's king of the uh, months. Mm-hmm. The Sultan uh, Shuhur. So, uh, Sultan Al-Ashhur. Uh, Alhamdulillah, before it's coming, we, we know it's uh, from Sha'air, one of the symbol of Islam this mm-hmm. month. And Alhamdulillah, there is, I want to invite uh, to all our community, uh, March 9th, uh, Muslim Association of Lehigh Valley, all uh, mosques around Lehigh Valley. Mm-hmm. We are organizing and welcome Ramadan uh, events. So it will be food, talk, and uh, activities inshallah we are waiting all uh, our brothers and sisters with uh, families uh, inshallah, inshallah. Uh, afternoon uh, we'll start this program Sheikh uh, Muhammad al Shinawi, Sheikh Yahya Rodos Sheikh Amjad Tarsin uh, Sheikh Yusuf Riyos uh, me and uh, Sheikh Ahmed Zain mm-hmm. uh, Sheikh Ahmed uh, I, I was uh, from uh, Sheikh Hernandez will be uh, all our shaykh, so Alhamdulillah will be there. So um, our beloved youth uh, Imam mm-hmm. uh, brother uh, Ibrahim Jabir will be in in this meeting, Inshallah as well. So waiting all our Lehigh Valley uh, fellows, Inshallah, to that meeting. First, it's uh, we are encouraging to people to prepare our souls, Inshallah, in in that talks. And, and to be together and show our uh, unity, uh, alhamdulillah, even we have different uh, mosques with different orientations, but alhamdulillah, we are uh, one when uh, when we uh, need, inshallah. So uh, I think we, in this Ramadan, uh, in every Ramadan, we have to uh, see what I can change, what I can improve in myself. Maybe using the coaching <laughs> uh, uh, mission statement, uh, what is uh, Ramadan teaching us? One of them is really to, uh, during the day we are not eating, we are not drinking, but this should uh, teach us something. For example, uh, one of the brother who said, I don't know, he said, Please, before one day before Ramadan, go and wait yourself, mm-hmm. and go, uh, and and at the end of month as well. I think Doctor yeah, uh, Sheikh Yahya Rodos uh, last week I was there. Mm-hmm. He, he was saying that 
please one day before uh, so wait uh, and do not and the last day as well so these physically have to help us as well mm -hmm. but especially uh, imagine the, the 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 fasting of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam how was his iftar so i know today we have everything especially in america Mm -hmm. But let's go to uh, when we do iftar, be more moderate, inshallah, this year. Yeah. One goal. If we do 10 goals, it's difficult. But we have 30 days. Let's go to put, inshallah, uh, as a goal, a mission statement. In this uh, Ramadan, inshallah, will be not last year, not like last year. Will be different. And I will uh, do my portions of the food like. In airplane, <laughs> when, we, when we go yeah. in airplane, you know, it's got, mm -hmm. uh, and inshallah, this will help to perform your salat good. Your uh, you can uh, wake up for your fajr, so you can do your uh, tahajjud. If not, if you eat a lot, you're tired, you're you lazy, are tired, you are lazy, and you don't feel that spirituality, mm -hmm. what you gain during the day. So uh, I think one of the uh, important point uh, is is this, and maybe second point, I think since I'm very oriented, to this religion is not known by the people. Mm -hmm. I think we have to use Ramadan, that symbol of Islam, this Shi'ar uh, of Islam, to, to to use it for outreach. When we invite uh, our uh, beloved uh, Muslim brothers, let's go to invite one non-Muslim as well to our homes. And show them what a mosque looks like and uh, uh, experience uh, yeah, in Ramadan. Yeah, yes, and invite these people and and they cannot believe it. They say, oh, you don't eat nothing? Nothing? <laughs> no so, water? You know, yeah, you know what? You, you know, uh, they are in the, uh, Christians especially, they are in the land right now. Mm -hmm. They are experiencing some way uh, the, the the fasting as well, but let's go to experience with them. We are not saying they they have to uh, uh, fast, but they can to join our inshallah uh, iftars in mm -hmm. our mosques, in our uh, homes. So and through that they know really these people they are spiritual people they are, they are good people because there is out there millions of people they don't have any access and Muslim people uh, they never maybe um, uh, eat together so and this is uh, a, a reason to invite people like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was doing they were Muslims uh, the people who they invite in the beginning of his uh, journey mm -hmm. no it no. was non-Muslims uh, all the wealth of the uh, Khadija radiallahu anha mm -hmm. he spent to, to inviting people to eat so uh, this is the, the way where we can uh, do this outreach mm -hmm. so it's helping us spiritually to grow and Muslims but uh, this have to serve uh, for da'wah pur purpose as well mm -hmm. so to, to really represent Islam yani. Uh, if we are just Muslim for us, yeah, this is not the uh, mission of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So at least uh, they have to uh, be uh, friends of Muslims. Yeah. So Allah guide the heart of people, you know. But at least these people uh, who they are receiving a lot of refugees from Muslim lands. So they deserve really to know the authentic Islam, not that uh, people who they are um, mispresenting Islam uh, every day, you know, we... In the hear, media yeah, and in everything. In the media, yeah, in Afghanistan, bomb, Shia, Sunnah, or, or this uh, auto-bombing. So all, all these things... Uh, unfortunately, it's, uh, yeah, there is people who they they want to show that way uh, Muslims. They mm -hmm. don't want to uh, show the uh, reality of Muslim societies in 
Turkey, in Pakistan, there is normal life. Like here, mm -hmm. the people, they are living in, in peace in their uh, homes, in their neighborhood. Uh, but unfortunately, the people, they don't have uh, that uh, idea. So since here is uh, in the United States, we don't have very social life. It's very individualistic life. So Yeah, very and, much so. And, and, and they don't know us. They we, we enter, we take our car from garage. You know, I was mm -hmm. outside waiting. You. <laughs> Nobody see everybody's in their home because it's not like in Turkey the people they walk, walk in the, or in Buenos Aires mm -hmm. the people interact in the elevator the people interact uh, in the bus station walking together mm -hmm. uh, with your neighbor you are helping to uh, some elder uh, from supermarket to, to walk to his department so um, uh, apartment And you notice this in other countries, in, in Argentina, in Turkey, everywhere, but you haven't noticed that in America. Yeah, I, I noticed. I noticed it's uh, really, if you don't want to interact with your neighbor, you can live 100 years and you don't know his name. Mm -hmm. But in Argentina, in Turkey, this is not possible. Mm -hmm. This is not possible. <laughs> yeah. Same thing in Egypt. Like, you know yeah. people around yeah. you. You're walking, yeah. talking. Even when you go from place to place, you build relationships with people yeah. who sell fruit or sell this or the, the gazar, right? The guy making the meat. They got all these people you're talking to, interacting with. So you have locals, and it's not just all chains. But here, all it is is that, unless you yeah. go out of your way to find that yeah. place to go. Yeah, there is for that uh, environment, but uh, you have to put... Uh, Uh, time and energy, but it's not uh, naturally interaction. It's not easy. To, it's not and accessible. And it's not easy to, uh, to to do that relations as well. So, uh, in that sense, like I said, uh, please let's uh, use this Ramadan for a good purpose, uh, not just for individual grow. Let's go to uh, grow with and uh, other people non-muslims especially muslims they come uh, and everybody invite to, to one another yeah. uh, home or mosque at least at mosque we have weekends uh, some iftar and the people interact but let's go to police in these two things outreach invite non-muslims to our mosques uh, and our homes open our doors our hearts To, to them and to little bit to do fasting of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam our tables uh, especially can be a lot of food in the table yeah. but to little bit manage uh, to our appetite mm -hmm. to to eat moderate way and to lose some uh, couple of pounds yeah, <laughs> at the end of Ramadan <laughs> at the end of Ramadan not yeah. for you you are good mashallah <laughs> No, okay. this word is first for me. <laughs> <laughs> It's cool you say that because something I actually um, wrote down as one of my goals for this Ramadan is to make sure my family eats really well for Ramadan and, like you said, lose a little bit of weight. And not because they're super unhealthy or this, but because in Ramadan and a lot, and this is not about the deen or the Islam, but the culture is like you said. They've got food, they've got baklava, they've got sweets, they've got this, da, da, da. but if we're breaking our fast, how did the Prophet break his fast? With the, with dates, pure, right? Something yeah. pure, water, right? Yeah. Not soda, co cola pop, and yeah. Yeah. and this, and, th and sweets, and then you get fat after Ramadan. It's like, how are you fasting 16 hours of the day, <laughs> only have a small window to eat, and you're gaining weight at the end of Ramadan because your habits... In Ramadan, yeah. what you're eating was really bad. So then you get unhealthy throughout Ramadan. But Ramadan is supposed to be not only a spiritual cleanse, but a physical cleanse. Sure. And it should be everything. And it's, like you said, that camaraderie of unity and being together. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. But make sure you're together and growing and being better together, not getting worse together. Yeah, yeah, so I yeah, like yeah. that you talked about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And bringing Islam a non-Muslim too yeah, is cool. Yeah, Islam is holistic, it, it taking everything in the life in a whole way. So... Uh, when you, you treat your uh, physics, you know, mm -hmm. uh, this is part of the deen as well, really, mm -hmm. because this is a man at you. So if you put over uh, weights, so this is uh, even Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, I, he says, I'm fearing from the uh, belly people of my ummah. So they eat and eat and eat. 
So it's not a good uh, sign for a Muslim really uh, to, to be overweight. Uh, We have to, in that sense, uh, use the Ramadan, inshallah, to clean our souls and our, uh, inshallah, bodies as well. May Allah help us to. It's not easy. Yeah. This is, you, you know, this is the big jihad. Yeah. Remember yeah. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when mm-hmm. he went to first battle. So it was the first battle, but in that first battle, uh, he said we are returning from the little battle to big battle, which is the battle with our ego. So if you, you can do this deal, there is food, but you, you will eat the uh, portions of the. Uh, flight <laughs> airplane. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, if inshallah, you can do that. it, inshallah, yeah, it's it's a big jihad. So this is the uh, real struggling and 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 inshallah to win our nafs, the shaitan, mm-hmm. uh, as well. Both they 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 want we eat more and more because salat is coming. You will meet your Lord. Yeah, in the salat in the tarawih. So and if you eat a lot, you, you will be. Busy, tired, mm-hmm. but if you will be dynamic if you eat moderate way, mm-hmm. inshallah. May Allah help us to accomplish inshallah. first. First to me, <laughs> <laughs> I have a couple of pounds. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> over, inshallah, and it's, it's cool because I know people around my age, right? The big fad and everyone in the athletic field is like, oh, make sure this Ramadan you don't lose the muscle you gained, or you don't lose this, or make sure you're healthy. And if you still want to work out during Ramadan, do this, do this, right? And something that I've always noticed is that, okay, say you want to li- uh, go to work out after Maghrib. Okay, but then going to work after Maghrib makes sense because then you have water and food in your system. But then how are you going to get that tarawiyah prayer? You're going to get there rushing, you get there there. Then for me, I like praying and just going after I eat, sit a little bit, let the food digest like you were saying, then go to prayer and enjoy it. But I work out in the day. And then everyone's like, you're working out with no food, no water? And then in my head, I think I'm... It's what a couple of hours. Like you can, your body is strong. Our bodies yeah, are so yeah, strong. Yeah, we can yeah. go without food and water and run and work out without needing food and water in our stomach that exact moment. Yeah. It might not be the same endurance levels of oh, I did ten repetitions today. Maybe I did seven. Yeah. Okay, but I'm not gonna lose muscle if I want to maintain my health in my body. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. don't make excuses and say oh, but I'm yeah. tired. But yeah, yeah, the whole yeah. point of Ramadan is the abeda to Allah. Yeah, and if you still totally. want to take care of your body and work out, then do that. But make sure you're still reading the Quran. You're still doing all the things you want to do. And that's a supplement. Yeah, yeah, so again, yeah. it's like the Al- main purpose of... Uh, Alhamdulillah, we have good examples of that uh, athletics mm-hmm. uh, in MBA <laughs> in MBA Muslims. Mm-hmm. Alhamdulillah, they, uh, they don't live uh, too fast. Mm-hmm. Even they are... Uh, Uh, very uh, difficult journey in mm-hmm. the game, especially. Mm-hmm. But Alhamdulillah, you you see that uh, fasting is not affecting their uh, their duty. Sometimes they play even better. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw uh, last year and Alhamdulillah, um, uh, three UConn uh, University, uh-huh. right? They yeah, were yeah. playing. Three of them were fasting, yeah, and they yeah. were having amazing numbers, playing yeah, yeah, yeah. for thirty-five minutes in the game. And everyone's like, "How are they playing so well?" But it's, again, it's. You, uh, Allah ins- like, will give you that energy Like that yeah, spirituality sure, It gives right, you that sure. mental strength Yeah, 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 yeah. It's totally yeah, Starting here and finishing here Really in the mind mm-hmm. When you uh, From morning You think I will use My energy in these uh, portions mm-hmm. uh, So uh, it's, uh, There is a lot of people Working in very uh, difficult conditions outside construction. Exactly. And millions and millions, alhamdulillah, and they, they don't left uh, the fasting. And and uh, and we never hear the people is dying from yeah. all of that. So it's because it's temporary. It's just uh, 12, 13, 14, 15 hours. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, with the patience, uh, alhamdulillah, you have alhamdulillah. Su- success. Yeah, yeah. And I love that you said that it's temporary because, you know, it's we're so hungry all day. We're so thirsty. And then right when we eat and drink water, sometimes I'll drink like a glass of water mm-hmm. and then I'll eat like two bites. And I'm like, oh, like I'm kind of already like I don't I almost feel uncomfortable eating too a little more Then I'm sitting there. And I'm thinking. It only took a little bit of water, like mm-hmm. a little piece of food here and here. And I'm feeling kind of full. And it kind of shows Like that, I was not hungry anymore. It's like how temporary yeah. it, that hunger was. And then how temporary the world is. 
Yeah. Right? This is life is merely but a test. So it's cool. Like we see the spiritual synonym between both, you know, where we fast and we're so hungry all day until mm. two minutes, three minutes, five minutes of eating. And you're like, I'm full. Yeah, yeah, so 16 yeah. hours, but then five minutes of eating. How that's such a yeah, big yeah, difference, yeah. but oh, now you're okay. Is it related to this topic? Um, how to use our patience? Uh, so, uh, Imam Bidi Zaman Said Nursi, uh, he used a parable of uh, an army. Mm -hmm. um, so, if you say how I can uh, fast 15 hours, I will do this workout, I will do this, do this duty, duty. You are uh, spending your energy for future. Mm -hmm. You say, use for now. Don't think about the future. Mm -hmm. So for now, busy, to be busy with, with, with now. So he, he uh, talked about the sabr, the, to be patient. And he says, Allah give for the uh, moment what do you need the patience you have a big trouble i don't know you lost your mother if you use your patience for that time will be enough for you but if you think what will happen um, my mother uh, passed away so how how i will deal with my uh, other brother so just with uh, with uh, my uh, father will be very difficult so if you spend your patience for the future you, you cannot handle it mm -hmm. but if you use for now uh, he, he said like it's uh, a guy who is confronting an other army mm -hmm. and he sent uh, and they they come and they have to fight in front mm -hmm. of uh, both army and you send part of your army to right and to other to left and it's very weak the center so uh, the the using of the patience uh, is is same way you have to use not for past oh in the past i suffer a lot so it's past it past mm -hmm. you don't have to uh, uh, use your energy for for the you can take lessons mm -hmm. but not uh, negative way so same for for the future what will happen you 20 years after what will be my retirement uh, i will not have i will be homeless mm -hmm. no allah is providing you can plan plan is different than, than to uh, to be have anxiety yeah, of the future uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's so uh, same way for uh, for the uh, fasting fast the moment not the Fifteen hours from you, you say you tell yeah, <laughs> you you're nine, like ten, eleven. No, Alhamdulillah, you are surviving. You can do it. This you can uh, handle it. What Allah give you, mm -hmm. and if you cannot, Allah give permission as well. If you are uh, elder, if you are sick, mm -hmm. if you are traveler, so there is permission. Uh, for special conditions as well And I know uh, pregnant Like if you're a woman yes. You're pregnant yeah. right Yeah so Alhamdulillah uh, This religion with uh, Its practice is Wonderful mm -hmm. You don't practice Any religion Don't have any meaning mm -hmm. So and Alhamdulillah We uh, we are very close To Ramadan uh, uh, Practicing May Allah give us Tawfiq uh, And give us time to live We have about uh, 10 days no mm -hmm. we don't need, we don't know if we will reach mm -hmm. uh, that day so it's having the intention yeah, going but, into uh, yeah. what's your intention going into yeah, ramadan inshallah even, yeah even prophet sallallahu uh, teaches us that uh, word it says allahumma barik lana fi rajab wa shaaban wa balighna ramadan let us reach ramadan so bless for us this shaaban this last 10 days mm -hmm. let's go to inshallah prepare our souls from now reading a little bit Quran from now add to our daily activities uh, more spiritual things even little so 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes extra like preparation to Ramadan mm -hmm. uh, may Allah give uh, ease inshallah especially to our uh, ill people uh, kids and elder elder people mm -hmm. Uh, so we are uh, waiting our 
our big guest Ramadan. Mm-hmm. Inshallah. So I wanted to ask you, going off of again, when you think about Islam and talking and giving dawah and talking about Islam, what is some like a common misconception? Something people think about Islam but isn't true, but then that you talk about or that you like talking about? Yeah, one of them. Since we use a lot the word Allah, you know, they believe like sometimes we believe in other God, Mm -hmm. (laughs) different. Mm -hmm. So, and they don't have idea. So they don't have idea is uh, same creator. But I think one of the uh, common, especially the people who don't know about religions, no? If if is a little bit, they study, they know... um, but I think the, the 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 one of the common mistake is that, uh, and maybe the uh, and and I think we have to emphasize that commonalities, in Islam. So we believe even Christians they say uh, God is three, so it's the Trinity is part of the, that. Even they call them monotheistic. Mm-hmm. Because they say these three is one, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we have to really uh, talk about theologically about this. God is same God. It's the creator, the merciful, like Allah teaches mm-hmm. us in the Quran. Mm-hmm. Talk about that God, not to say your God is different than my God. No, it's, it's the same God. <laughs> yeah, it's same God because, uh, and Allah says, let's go to pray. Uh, to uh, same uh, in in the one word which is uh, God, He inviting us to talk about this really. Mm-hmm. So um, to talk, uh, we are believing in same God. This mm-hmm. is uh, the first part, and the second maybe a lot of time the people uh, confuse when they see somebody have a beard, uh, so they. Uh, believe we are radicals, we are fanatic. Uh, so the confusion of the uh, the ma- media really uh, the uh, have big responsibility in that. Yeah. So they will respond to God. Why they they done this all mm-hmm. these works? So you have a lot of negative things in the world. Why mm-hmm. uh, you always bring that uh, that thing? Let's help us to. Finish with this radicalism, with this fanaticism. Yeah, help me, help me to educate people. Mm-hmm. So and like ask me questions. And so I know yeah. a lot of the times growing up, obviously being in, growing up in the American school system, and everyone asking me questions. And I go to university, and they'd be like, "Oh, so you're Muslim?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." So you believe in Allah, right? Yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, I believe in God." Wait, I thought you said you believe in Allah. But then I'd have that co- conversation. And we talk about, I'm like, yeah, but we also believe in, you know, Jesus. We call him Isa. We believe in Yusuf, Joseph, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of giving them the examples. I'm like, wait, so you believe uh, the story of Noah, like Noah, and da, 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 and we're going back and forth. And I'm like, yeah, we believe that too. And then they're sitting there thinking, wait, why, how, right? Because they mm-hmm. think in their head, because you said the media and the propaganda is that Muslims are these crazy people who uh, all they and care and about. Different and different. No, mm-hmm. we, we, even the histories of uh, prophets and and majority of the uh, the, the Bible, uh, it's very similar to Quran, mm-hmm. especially the stories of the uh, uh, prophets. Uh, it's very similar. So because the and this really show us. The, uh, the source is same as well because, because Jesus uh, came from uh, same creator Allah uh, gave that mission to him mm-hmm. to be prophet for us mm-hmm. you know? S- Moses so it's uh, that message the one message throughout the history of humanity there is one God and uh, be good people this is the essence of the religion really yeah so recognize there is a creator and be grateful, grateful to him, and be good with your neighbors. This mm-hmm. is the essence. So, and th- through the uh, other worship, is like fasting, is adornment. All these things beautify your uh, personality, your family, your society. Mm-hmm. If religion don't beautify you, really, uh, there is no meaning of, on on that. So, yeah. the religion. Your practices, your salat, your prayer, 
have to beautify your akhlaq. Uh, if uh, that practice don't give you compassion for what you are doing. So, the, the, like Allah says, inna salata tanha anil fahshai wal munkar. Certainly, salat, prayer, take you away from the bad things. Mm -hmm. If my salat don't take me away to be harsh to others, so it's uh, it's not authentic salat. We yeah. can say it's not authentic salat. Same if uh, fasting is not uh, t t teaching me to not to be egoist. No, mm -hmm. he, it's about he, through the fasting you learn uh, the situation of the poor people. Yeah, if we don't remember the people in Gaza right now, uh, they they don't have food in this winter time. Mm -hmm. So what kind of the fasting is this? You mm -hmm. don't remember part of your body. Remember Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, mm -hmm. Muslims, Muslims, they're like one body. The Ummah, right? It's like yeah, the... yeah, all the Muslims, they're like one body. If your finger, is, uh, you have pain, uh, your heart will have a pain as well. Mm -hmm. So if one brother is suffering in Gaza, if you, you are not suffering, if you are not praying for them, at least, if, if you can do something materially, uh, economically, uh, as a Muslim, uh, it's our duty. Uh, all Muslims, they are brothers, says Allah in the Quran. Same. It's not just Gaza. We have. We don't have to forget the people in China, in uh, the Uyghurs. Mm -hmm. There is a big zulm. There is a big injustice. Big, big persecution. There is histories you cannot believe it, Akhi. Mm -hmm. uh, very sad uh, histories. Uh, and uh, people who they are living here, I I know. And uh, there is a big suffering. We at least, at least, if we are not suffering in our heart and pray for them, and and say, "Oh Allah, give me opportunity to be a big uh, businessman mm -hmm. and and have having uh, impact in the politicians, having impact in the uh, world peace." Mm -hmm. uh, so, because you know, there is a lot of people they are selling uh, weapons. Mm -hmm. And inshallah, I will be, will be like Elon Musk. Inshallah, I will yeah. <laughs> I will use that money for uh, all humanity, mm -hmm. and and that humanity will embrace not just Muslims will embrace all the humanity because when we live in peace, really we live with others in peace. Mm -hmm. When we had power in the Ottomans, in the Andalus, in uh, Salchuks, in the in India, a lot of Muslim civilizations always they respect the coexistence. Mm -hmm. So our peace is help to live in peace in others because we 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 are not compulsory people in in religion. Uh, so we we just can talk really in that sense here in the United States the freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. This is uh, what uh, Islam uh, is uh, saying. So you can talk. And alhamdulillah here, uh, there is opportunity. Everybody can spread uh, their religion. Uh, in, in, in that sense, it's, uh, we are grateful, really. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. Uh, everybody can talk about his religion. So, and, and the people choose <laughs> whatever they, they like. They choose, yeah. No, I like that. And it's cool because I had recently talked to a couple friends about this who some Muslim, some non Muslim. And I told them and in our society and me being early twenties, mid twenties, everyone's always thinking money, 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 right? Make money, make money. How are you gonna make money, right? And over the last couple of years I've noticed that that's one of my goals, yes, but then Allah had different plans for me where I then in turn got more religious, right? Where you start practicing more, reading more, learning more, right? Chasing that knowledge. And it made me realize that I'm so grateful because if I didn't go after knowledge or chase deen or akhlaq or any of these things, then what would have been the point of money if that's what I went for right away only, right? Because you have to build yourself as a human being overall. You have a spiritual sense, a mental self, your physical self, and your financial self, right? And you have all these different categories. Yep. And if you have financial, 
with a little bit of mental and a little bit of emotional, but you have no spiritual, it'll all fall apart. And I started noticing that. And that's why you see people who are super wealthy still commit suicide. Yeah. But people who are super poor and getting bombed are sitting there praying to Allah for ease and they're not killing themselves. Yeah. So then you start to think, that, that makes no sense. Like, how? how right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's amazing because I started noticing that the spiritual self is the most important self. Because at the end of the day, hmm. what do you have? Is money going to make you have a family? No, money maybe can get you, buy you people to be around you and make friends, but they're not going to build you real friends. Like money can buy you things until it can't. So then how could you choose happiness, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. how do you get happiness? Being spiritually content can make you the most happiness, even if you're getting bombed and destroyed. So it's interesting to see that yeah. difference between the two. Yeah, yeah, you were in a question you, uh, that you sent me. Uh, mm -hmm. What is uh, uh, most you like? Uh, quit. Mm -hmm. So I put it there. Uh, iman hem nurdur hem kuvvettir in Turkish mm -hmm. so this is uh, uh, Imam Nursi um, quote it says the fate is light and power mm -hmm. Iman is light and power you said that poor guy how he is happy because the Iman it's infinite it's infinite So you, you are, uh, your contentment is not depend to material things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's help you, the material things. We are not yeah, asc of course. ascetic people. <laughs> so uh, our religion is not saying don't be, uh, poor, uh, don't, don't be rich. Even it's recommending us to be rich, really. To have our, money so yeah, you can impact, our, like you said, yeah. do things and make yeah. sure you can impact. Even, even look at the word, the word... Uh, Uh, related to zakat in qad aflah al mu'minun alladhina hum fi salatihim khashun alladhina hum liz zakati fa'ilun it's not just saying they give zakat it's say they work to give zakat so they want to mm -hmm. have more and their work is really is not just to uh, eat but it's to help to Eat others as well, mm -hmm. because through the zakat, you, when you have more and more, you share more. Yeah. So in that sense, it's capitalistic a little bit. <laughs> yeah. There are religions, so, but through the giving, it's socialistic. So yeah. So it's both. Uh, our religion really is balance. Mm -hmm. So we are not uh, communist, not capitalist. So it's it's the balance in both. There is good things. So you combine really. Yes. So. Whatever uh, you have, you try to build yourself uh, and improve and grow. And through the that grow, you make grow your society as well. So there is no grow if you don't uh, help to others. Mm -hmm. Will be very egoistic and will be maybe dangerous for you as well. Like you said, so yeah. if, why why he's like because he's not happy. Yeah. He's not making happy others. Mm -hmm. Normally, if he is happy, he, he have to leave. Yeah. So, uh, may Allah give us balance in our lives. Mm -hmm. I think uh, maybe one of the, if you say your uh, preferred word in in all languages, what is I can say balance mm -hmm. in Turkish denge. So in Arabic mizan. Uh, so. To do that balance in the life, balance between uh, here and hereafter, balance between spiritual and material. If we if it not combined balance between uh, science and uh, religion, you know, uh, this is uh, very important. When you lose that balance, uh, you don't uh, have proper uh, proper life uh, really. And I think. In that sense, Allah says, "Ummatan uh, wasata" in the Quran. You are uh, the people of middle. Mm -hmm. That balance, having that balance. When you lose that balance in the life, uh, you lose uh, the other things as well. Mm -hmm. No, so, I love that. No. And essentially, because again, chasing that balance and chasing that strength in, in what you do, and like you said, in Islam, it's we're supposed to have. 
make money and have business and do things. I know that like nine tenth of all halal risk is in the jara business. Yeah. Yes. And it's cool because it's like it incentivizes you to be an entrepreneur. It incentivizes you because then it's oh you have uh, to pray right now. Oh you can't because this job says you have to work right now and if not you're fired. But if you have your own business, your own hours, right? Yeah. You get to pray whenever you want. You can say, I own my own business. I can take the money and donate to this as much as I can. I can do this. I, I control my reality. I control yeah, what I can do. So it's like, essentially, if you can, try to create the jara, yeah. try to have business, try to make money. And like you said, give zakat and do those things. And Islam doesn't tell you just be poor. Yeah. But it tells you we make money and then do the good with the money. Yeah, mashallah, like you do, no? You are owner of the... <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Uh, if not, you cannot do this. If yeah. you are uh, just going and working from nine to five, mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. And and in my in my in my job as well, Alhamdulillah, I have freedom of to go <laughs> to programs. Mm -hmm. uh, in in that sense, Alhamdulillah, it's, it's nice. So to having freedom, you can spend with your family, with your whatever you like, and and spend for Allah and help to others as well. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I wanted to ask you, so what is something that you've done in your life, alhamdulillah, that you're proud of? Really, I don't like uh, to say, <laughs> this is in English language, is used mm -hmm. a lot, so, and, and you see in the cars, I'm proud of this, I'm proud. Mm -hmm. of, really, it's in the place of that, uh, there is a sister, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Zuleyha uh, Mary Fikret, so... Uh, it's, Alhamdulillah, I learned fr from that. Uh, uh, so it's impact me when she said. Mm -hmm. uh, so after that, I start to use it. This really from Columbia University. She's Dr. Zulaiha, and she's sometimes teaching in respect as well. Uh, so to to say I'm proud is a little egoistic. It's mm -hmm. little uh, it's, uh, feeding <laughs> the ego, uh, but. We have to say, I think, we are grateful. Because remember, uh, this is the balance as well, no? Uh, Allah says in the Quran, whatever is coming the, the, from the bad things is from your nafs, mm -hmm. from your ego. Whatever is from khair is coming from your Lord, from Allah. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the good things is not just dependent to my inclination, my will should have to have thousands, millions of the things. For example, just this is a good thing, no? We are doing mm -hmm. a nice conversation. In order to concrete this, to realize, to make it uh, this, we have to have millions of the things. I have to have ability to walk to my car. Uh, my car ha should uh, <laughs> start. Uh, start it. So every single moment require millions of the things and it's not in my control mm -hmm. it's in the control of Allah mm -hmm. so the khair is thanks to Allah but if it's bad the bad things what for example this is a uh, cell phone mm -hmm. the bad things just uh, to throw it I can broke it mm -hmm. so it's very easy mm -hmm. even sometimes just you leave it to no make Good thing, for example, uh, you see a car, it's coming and some uh, little kid is in the um, road mm -hmm. and you see will be accident it's, and you see it's coming mm -hmm. and the, you can save it. If you leave it, you don't do nothing. Look at it's bad. Mm -hmm. The shar, so sometimes even you, you, you don't have the intention or the will of uh, to do something. Just to live, is, so shar is from our nafs. Mm -hmm. If we don't, uh, if we make it. and But the khair is from uh, coming from Allah. So uh, what I am grateful <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> uh, uh, I done in the life. I think the decision of to go Argentina, uh, it was a big decision to leave my family, you know, all my environment to do. 
hijrah we can say like yeah. uh, the companions of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they made it uh, and and my intention was, was that as well to really represent uh, islam and to do these institutions and islam can be known uh, the proper way uh, i think that that decision uh, it was alhamdulillah one of the important decision and allah gave me Alhamdulillah, that uh, will, because there is no Turkish community over there, so it was very difficult in the beginning to yeah. learn Spanish. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm, I'm grateful I uh, I made that hijrah, and may Allah through the, that uh, action, inshallah, uh, inshallah give his rida, his love, Ya Rab, I mean. in, in, inshallah. Inshallah. And, and where do you think the world's going to go in the next five years? Wow. I will say my hope mm-hmm. uh, yeah. and, and and my work really, I, I'm, I want to really, if I have power of, I don't know, uh, 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 this multi-billionaire people in the world who they are managing the world mm-hmm. so the owner of the Facebook the owner of Twitter the, mm-hmm. uh, this, uh, uh, Warren Buffett so uh, my hope I can say and as a Muslim uh, not just feeling the suffering of the Muslims I feel the suffering of the other nations as well like Ukraine all Uh, about 10 million people they left their homes mm-hmm. so um, even I have some friend here in Lehigh Valley he he invest uh, his wife she's from Ukraine mm-hmm. and his investment in uh, in Ukraine destroyed so uh, and the family of his uh, wife affected uh, from that war this is close relationship and you feel but we have to uh, think about the other people in Africa even they are Muslims or non-Muslims because they are uh, in the big family like Sayyidina Ali your mm-hmm. your namesake mm-hmm. uh, uh, the, uh, Sayyidina Ali says we are brothers in humanity for with non-Muslims mm-hmm. with Muslims we are in the faith brothers mm-hmm. But in the humanity, we are brothers in the humanity. Mm-hmm. So uh, I hope, inshallah, in five years we are in different place today. Everywhere we have fire, my brother suffering, uh, crying. So uh, uh, imagine just right now, Gaza, right now, people. The other day I was... Uh, here in a, a doctor uh, I think from California over there uh, she was saying they was hunting kids the, in in this conflict in this even Pope Francis that this, this said this is not a war this is a terrorism he says mm-hmm. so Hamas start this but the response is same way it's Uh, like terrorism, state terrorism, so and uh, civils they are uh, dying un- unfortunately, and and th- th- it was saying uh, they are hunting the um, uh, snipers. They are killing kids. Mm-hmm. They are walking family, and with one shot they are killing kids. So, if we are humans. If this happened to Jewish people, I will suffer for for it as well. Mm-hmm. This this is life Allah create. So and Allah will ask if you kill one injustly, Allah will ask. It doesn't matter is uh, Muslim or non-Muslim. Yeah, uh, we have to be aware of this. And we, killing one like, person is like killing all of humanity, and saving yeah. one person is like saving yeah. all of humanity. Like we cannot say they are doing this to us. Like uh, Umar al-Mukhtar said, the Libyan, a big, mm-hmm. huge guy, huge teacher, uh, when he wants to torture some Italian uh, soldier, mm-hmm. and he said, what are you doing? He says, 
They are they were doing us. They were torturing us. He said, they are not our teachers. Mm-hmm. Our teachers, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, how he treat the prisoners. Mm-hmm. So our teacher, it's Quran. It's it's Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So don't do what they did to you guys. Yeah. That's bad. That you yeah, well, yourself we have felt. to be just mm-hmm. because we believe. Maybe they don't believe in hereafter, but we believe mm-hmm. will be a judgment. They, it's not just the um, the Lahai uh, International uh, Criminal Court. It's yeah. not just that. Yeah. This is the the little one, really. Even mm-hmm. it's international, yeah. huge. But nothing they compares. cannot judge it. Yeah. And they they cannot judge it. Look at. They cannot uh, how many do mis- the proper... How many mistakes do they make in the judge court systems and everything? Yeah, but uh, mashallah, South Africa, they had courage. No one Muslim country could do it that. And South Africa did. And we applaud these African brothers. Mm-hmm. They, And this is not just for Israel. If, if, if they if do one Muslim country, we have to be... Uh, just uh, brother just Muslim is just mm-hmm. so you you ask me how you see in five years I want to see really I want to see in five years all these wars finished mm-hmm. inshallah and some way these all these injustices all these catastrophes all these unhuman uh, things can over and and we really embrace to one another and and this sources is enough for all humanity mm-hmm. whatever allah create in this earth is enough uh, for humanity so when salahuddin uh, uh, take the uh, jerusalem he didn't take out the christians he didn't take out the jewish people mm-hmm. He create an environment to live together, the coexistence. So uh, I don't know really what's happening in the head of uh, people, what they are thinking. They, uh, I, I think one of the important things, they, do, they, they don't believe there is a big judgment in hereafter. Mm-hmm. If really they believe... They wouldn't be doing this. Yeah, because it's... This is uh, against the human uh, reason. So, uh, the, if if you really believe in God, if you really believe in God, you cannot do that. You wouldn't want any wars and want any of this tyranny or any of these unfair, yeah, unjust experiences. Yeah, you use your power to stop injustice, not to do injustices. Mm-hmm. But nowadays we see that people who, like you said, may have a lot of the money or push a lot of the agendas are paying for the injustice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my, my hope and my work, really. I, I love to do interfaith work. Mm-hmm. I, I am a pioneer and in Argentina. I do a lot of interfaith uh, work. Uh, and it's my passion, I can say. Uh, because through that, the people know uh, really, uh, who is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Who is these Muslims? Uh, so it's a stage, important stage, and really for the world peace as well. It's very important to in the internal uh, interfaith relation, interreligious activities, because this kind of the global issues, just Muslim cannot uh, resolve it. Yeah, uh, it's a team. It's a team yeah, effort. Yeah, all of with us the together. goodwill people, Christian goodwill people, Jewish goodwill people, uh, Hindu goodwill people, we can do the global peace. Not just uh, Christians, not just uh, Muslims, uh, really. And in that sense, uh, we need really a, a joint effort of the uh, global uh, religious leaders uh, to work together. Uh, and to really to use our power to do better place mm-hmm. even even for one decade brother yeah. <laughs> before before akhira yeah so there was an unpopular opinion you had and you said we want to coexist and then you said a wolf is too 
man, but I want I was confused about it. I want to know what you think about this. Yeah, that uh, uh, so maybe today the people they think, you know, uh all people they are bad people. So um, uh, in your questionnaire I I put this uh, mm-hmm. this is unpopular today the people they don't trust one another. Mm-hmm. Majority of the people, yeah, they don't trust one another, and and China tr- don't trust the United States. The United States don't trust uh, China. Russia don't trust here, and this is not just international politics relations. This is um, in our personal level uh, as well. In um, unfortunately, uh, so this is coming from uh, Latin. This expression it says. Uh, Ha, homo homoni lopus est. So uh, uh, man is a wolf to man. So don't trust to others. So uh, do yourself. So even don't trust to your mother, your father. Mm-hmm. So be yourself. Uh, build yourself. Uh, This is in uh, nowadays uh, popular thinking, I think, and uh, and we have to go ag- against this. I'm your brother, and we have to work. Uh, surely we have everybody have bad part uh, in of themselves, in, uh, yeah, and and, uh, and good part. And let's go to do grow the good part. Mm-hmm. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says. So حسن الظن من حسن العبادة. Think good, thinking good of others, it's a good worship. He says. Mm-hmm. Why? Because you are like making dua to grow him the the good parts. Mm-hmm. Okay, sometimes some people can uh, betray to you. Yeah. But there is. Others, so uh, don't make that one bad experience make yeah, every other and, and experience you have others. bad. And if there is no really that trust, and there, if there is no that supportive coexistence, we cannot live uh, in peace. Yeah, there is no life without that. So how if I don't trust to you, I don't come here. <laughs> you know, it's nothing cannot be done. Mm-hmm. If you go to extreme, oh, he is doing in. You said to me, oh, I am doing in the, uh, you know, uh, in in this office. In uh, maybe he, he, he can harm me. Mm-hmm. So it, this it can be. Or look at uh, you can say if I take airplane, if if somebody. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's always something bad that could happen, could happen. But if you live your life in fear or think of others as bad, that's what they'll be to you because that's how you're imagining them. This is uh, for our uh, personal life, family life, uh, interpersonal uh, life everywhere. Is I think it's very important to think uh, positive, uh, positive. And this can change the world, uh, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you see, in the life of the prophets, you know, uh, Jesus, just one man, no, and how he changed. Prophet Muhammad, just one. Mm-hmm. How he, they change, and and their environment, it was not easy environment. Mm-hmm. So, uh, like change can remember, happen so yeah, easily with yeah, just one person. Remember the environment of the Jesus, no. Mm-hmm. Hypocrite people, just they they believe they are very religious people, proud of their religion. Mm-hmm. You will teach us. <laughs> they were saying to Jesus, mm-hmm. Isa alayhi salam. But how he changed? And look at Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So uh, alayhi salatu wasallam, just one. And we how we call before he arrived, the era of ignorance. So all kind of the problems you you idolatry in Mecca, so no values, and through that good thinking and and good work, Allah give uh, the success. Wa min Allah tawfiq. The success is coming from Him. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, today's the people don't trust one another. 
Yeah. They said, oh, uh, if I if I can benefit from him, uh, so everybody trying to um, do uh, the things. Uh, not trusting to others, I think this uh, take us uh, to dangerous uh, steps for the humanity. Mm-hmm. Some way we have to trust one another and to build uh, for all humanity. Inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. inshallah. I love. Altogether. I love that. Ya Rab, ya Rab. And last thing was you wanted to learn the word namesake in Arabic. <laughs> and I kind of laughed when I saw this because obviously I speak Arabic, but I looked at it and I was like, <laughs> I've never even used this word. And I was talking to my mom. I was like, Mama, like, is it like this, this, this? I know ism is like name and like, ne- like nafs is like nafs is like the same. So I'm like, how do I say like it's the same name or is it like together? Or what's like the family name dynamic? Do you right? know in Spanish? Uh, what is how, how they call they call tocayo 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 is same uh, mm-hmm. namesake <laughs> mm-hmm. i think in arabic and it was you could did, nafs al ism uh, but this is translation yeah, it doesn't that's why i didn't know the actual like secret it, little uh, word i i search it uh, <laughs> so it's sami sami samiyu from ism ismun mm-hmm. samiyun it's like same name Because this to me, oh, to me, I always thought that meant like to name, like to name someone. Uh, uh, no, uh, yusamma, samma, yusamma, samma, okay. yusamma is verb, but samiyun or uh, sumiyun, uh, it's, sumiyun. It's like uh, sumiyun or samiyun. Uh, it's like the family it's, it's name. It's like uh, not family name, the same name. Ah, uh, okay, I see, Na- I see. Namesake, remember? Yeah. You are uh, Ali, I'm Ali. So we are... Sa- name, same name. <laughs> same name, so namesake. Same namesake, yeah, yeah. And in Spanish, we have... Tokayo. Uh, Tokayo. And in Turkish, it's Adash. Adash. Uh-huh. Uh, so Adash, when Ahmed, Ahmed. Mm. Michael, Michael. So, mm-hmm. uh, come my Tokayo, come my Adash. Ah, oh, okay. I see how you're using it. Now. Okay, yeah. Uh, but I think it's Arabic. They they don't use uh, very commonly. Yeah. But I search it in the <laughs> in the uh, dictionary. Mm-hmm. So it's say like Samiyun. Samiyun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, well, uh, man, bit I just want to thank you again uh, for coming uh, on the show here and having a conversation with me. And inshallah, we can have a blessed Ramadan. And I'll be definitely be seeing you around. Inshallah for Tarawih in, prayers. In, and everything. Inshallah, Rahman. Jazakallah khaira. Thank you for inviting me. Of course, and uh, may Allah give success this this good initiative. Uh, inshallah. Tesekkir ederim. Tesekkir ederim. Bir şey değil. So thank you guys again for tuning in to another episode of the Oli Kanoi Show. Again, we have Imam Bitullah, and it was an amazing conversation. And again, I met him roughly around a year ago, and since then, again, we've kept in touch, but I'll be sure to keep in touch more often and visit him at the Respect School, Graduate School, right? In- inshallah. And inshallah. be our students as well. Inshallah. Inshallah, in our Masters. <laughs> It's just two-year program, and we don't require uh, any background uh, uh, in like any undergrad or anything yeah any undergrad you have to finish your undergrad mm-hmm. but any background it's acceptable we have pilot we have uh, political science people doing this we are we have a theologian mm-hmm. uh, we have um, uh, accountant uh, so uh, very diverse biology there is a sister he, she want to be a dentist mm-hmm. and she want to do two year gap So to uh, continue to be dentist mm-hmm. and to learn her religion better through the, this academic work. So, mm-hmm. inshallah, uh, waiting you to visit us, inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs> and I'll leave all the information in the description below. And if you guys want to be in the same seat Imam Allah is in, please apply down below in the description as well. So thank you guys again for tuning in to another episode. And I'll see you guys next week. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.